Hello and welcome back again. Welcome to the third segment in this free 12 part course. I hope you've enjoyed what we've done so far. I know it's been quite simple, but if you remember me saying this free 12 part course is aimed at beginner guitarists. So you, the most fundamental things that you'll need to be able to progress quickly. So I hope you've managed to practice tuning your guitar. I hope you've got an electric tuner by now. Um, I hope you've practiced roll riff that we learned a few days ago. And today I'm going to teach you how to play chords. Now, in case you don't know what chords are, it's when you hold more than one note down on the guitar at once and you strum all the strings, like this for example. So that was just a few examples of some different chords and of course the more chords you know, the more flexibility you're going to have to be able to play a variety of different songs. So I think it goes without saying that it's better to learn as many chords as possible and, and then you really have got the ability to play more things. And especially if you're the sort of person who enjoys singing as well as playing, then chords are going to be brilliant for you because you'll be able to strum them whilst you sing over the top and it'll sound fantastic. But I want to start today by showing you three chords to begin with. Um, I'm going to show you an E an A and a D chord and these three um, are what I consider to be the most useful uh, the most widely used chords so once you know them you'll find that they crop up in lots of songs so it's important that you get to know them right from the start and then of course as we progress you'll learn more and more chords and you know <laughs> we can go from there but let's start simple so I want to begin by showing you the E chord so if you take your first finger and put it onto the third string at fret 1 and then take your middle finger and put it onto the fifth string at fret 2 and then take your third finger and put it onto the fourth string at fret 2. Now if you look at the chord box next to me you'll see the diagram you know if you just need to clarify exactly where the notes go. Now what I'm going to ask you to do is hold down with plenty of pressure and strum the strings. Now ideally all of those notes will sound nice and clear like that but to be honest I'd be surprised if you get it sounding perfect straight away. <laughs> it would be, it'd be perfectly normal if it sounded more like this at first. <laughs> now let me explain um, some common mistakes that people make when learning chords. What you need to do is make sure you're holding down with the tip of your finger with plenty of pressure and you need to arch these fingers up and the reason for that is because you want plenty of space underneath the fingers. What we don't want to happen is for the back of these fingers accidentally to touch the next string and obstruct the note. Um, so when you pluck each of the strings with the plectrum it should sound nice and clear like that. So if any of these notes sound incorrect, it's probably because you're accidentally touching uh, one of the strings with the back of your fingers accidentally. Okay, so it might take a little bit of work and you'll need to shuffle your fingers around and get used to how to hold down the chord, but eventually you'll get it sounding nice and clear. So that's something to work towards. So the next chord I want to show you is the A chord and it looks like this. So what I'm going to ask you to do is to put your first finger on the fourth string at fret 2 and the middle finger on the third string at fret 2 and then the third finger on the second string at fret 2. So they're all at fret 2 but unfortunately there's not quite enough room really to fit them all in. Ideally we'd like to get them right next to the fret but in reality what happens is we end up using them at an angle like this because that's the only way really to squash them in there. <laughs> and of course everyone's hands are different you know if you've got skinny little fingers then you'll probably find it easier. So look at the chord chart next to me just to clarify what notes uh, we're holding down. Now with the A chord we're just going to use five strings and what I mean by that is we're not going to pluck the sixth string we're just going to pluck the fifth string downwards like this okay now of course like I said before it would be unusual if you got it sounding perfect straight away <laughs> you know um, what usually happens the back of this finger on an A chord accidentally touches the first string so what I want you to do is make sure that the first string is open correctly as it should be and if it is, then brilliant. And just pluck those five strings again, just to check it's okay. Okay, good. So now let's move on to the third chord I'm going to show you, which is the D chord. So if you put your first finger on the third string at fret 2, now listen carefully to this, because some people get muddled up with this one. The middle finger goes onto the first string at fret 2, 
and then this third finger goes on to the second string at fret three okay now the same thing applies you know arch these fingers up um, hold down with plenty of pressure and with the D chord we're just going to strum four strings and what I mean is we're not going to pluck these two top strings so four three two one okay so what I'd like you to do now is to um, stop the video and practice each one of these chords the E chord with all the strings the A chord with five strings and the D chord with just four strings and of course, with this video, you also downloaded a PDF document and you can print that out and it's got the diagrams there for you so you can look at them next to you so you don't have to keep rewinding the video and practice them and practice them and get them sounding nice and clear. Now, there's something else I want to tell you. You may have noticed my thumb sort of kind of hanging around here over the top of the guitar and there is a reason for this. Um, when we're strumming the A chord, uh, for example, we don't want the sixth string to accidentally make a noise. So what I'm doing is gently touching it just a little bit with the thumb and that's enough just to mute the note so it, it stops the sixth string from accidentally making a noise. And then when you strum all the five strings, then you know you're only just getting the correct notes that you want. So that's the reason for that. So what you can do once you've learned these chords is um, put them into a bit of a sequence. For example, you could play the A chord four times, and then you could play the D chord, back to the A, and then the E chord, and then you can do that again. begin practicing changing from one chord to the other and you'll find that you'll get quicker and quicker at changing from shape to shape good so that is a brilliant place to begin with chords so I suggest you go and practice that now go and get on with it um, get them sounding nice and smooth nice and clean practice changing between the shapes and I'll see you in a few days for the next segment of this e-course and in the meantime you can also go and look at the website and look at the archive and you'll see all the songs that are there and there's songs like brown eyed girl by Van Morrison which uses chords um, or Oasis songs or Jack Johnson or a whole bunch of other stuff so if you want to jump ahead of yourself a little bit you can go and have a look and see if there's any songs you'd like to learn that's fine by me okay so go and get on with it I'll see you then bye bye